Hi, I'm Jeff Stark, your Cross Company. Today I'm going to show you how to start up a small power unit with a Eaton uh, PBQ-10 pump and the relief valve to protect the system, gauge, shut off, and it's got an air bleed to get rid of the air once you start off the system. Uh, this unit goes out to the customer's connection here as pressure and return on the filter. I put a ball valve in just so I'd be able to load up the pump to be able to set the pressure on the compensator and on the relief. So uh, first thing I'm going to do is fill the case drain. Even if the unit's already been run, it's good to uh, make sure the case drain is full before you start the unit because a lot of times it will drain down. And keep in mind you can't totally fill it up because whatever's going to run down the case line. So you just want to make sure it's full then look down in there to make sure it's come up. And this one is full. Make sure you tighten up the case line. And first thing I'm going to do is turn on the power. And this motor is a 5 horsepower. It's actually run on uh, 460 volts, 50 hertz, which is not our standard. So I'm going to watch my amperage to make sure I don't over amp the motor. But I'm going to go ahead and start it up and uh, make, check our rotation. Rotation should be on the side of the pump right here. Right hand rotation means with your right hand facing the pump shaft is going that direction. So always check that. And it is correct. So I'm going to start the unit up and once I start it up what I'm going to do is run the compensator and the relief up at the same time. You don't want to run it up too much on either one because you want to be able to run it up safely, check for leaks as you're doing it, and then verify that your relief is set a couple hundred PSI above your compensator setting. For this one I'm going to be setting it at 2000 so I'm going to set the relief at 2200 but I'm going to bring them up together run them both up to 2200 and then back to compensator, back down to 2000 to get it going. So here we go. First I'm gonna load the pump, slowly for the first. Again, because the pump 
goes to standby setting. As you start closing off the pump, the then you'll start restricting the pump. Then you should go back to 2,000 every time. Our amperage is only 1.0, 1.2, something like that with it. Fully open is 0.7. As you start closing it off, you'll see the amperage jump. That's it. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it helps. Thank you.